Hello guys, it's Dale here. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple order flow trading strategy, which you can use in your trading. Now this trading strategy uses special feature, which my order flow has. It is the trades filter feature. So uh, if you go to indicators and uh, if you look into the settings of the indicator, you can set the trades filter there. This is the trades filter and uh, I currently have it set for 25, which means that uh, the minimal trade which the order flow will show will be only the trades which will be above 25 contracts. So in here you see the Euro futures chart. It is a 30 minute chart. And uh, for example, in this candle right there, those zeros means that all the orders who are below 25, so they don't show, but there was this order, which was four or seven contracts all at once placed in the market. And this shows on the trades filter. And if the price moves away from it, it will draw this highlighted area. And the trades filter basically shows uh, the big guys which are entering the market and it filters out the noise from the market. So it very nicely shows the activity of the big trading institutions. Now the simple trading strategy with this is just to follow those highlighted areas and trade from those because they show the activity of the trading institutions and those areas represent support and resistance zones. So I'm going to go through the chart, show you some recent examples on the Euro futures so uh, you can have a better understanding of the strategy. So if we start from this candle, what we see are filtered trades in here, in here, and in here. So uh, this is a support. The heavy volumes got created in here, then the price went above it, returned back. So this was a support. So uh, you go long from there. Let's imagine we are trading with take profit 10 pips and stop loss 10 pips, all right? That's uh, ideal for intraday trading with the euro. So. Uh, this would be a winning trade. Then uh, we also have this highlighted zone, heavy volumes created, the price went away from it. So you wait for a pullback. When the price gets there, you go long. That would be another winner. Then the third one in here, the next highlighted zone, another support, another long, and another winner. We also have filter trades in here. This is the highlighted zone. You can see heavy volumes traded in here. Then the price went away from it. A whole candle was above of this support. So then there was the pullback and another profitable trade. There is also one more, this one. And this one would be a losing trade. It would be a long from there, but the price went past it. Now there's another one, this one. And this is the reaction to it. This one was pretty spot on. Let's move forward. There's another one in here. The price goes away from it. This highlighted area gets printed, so you just wait until the price reaches this area. All right, so let's see in the future if it hits it. Yeah, in here, the price hit this area, so it is long from there. Another winner. So let's go back. Right there, there was also highlighted area, but this time, uh, the price turned a little bit before that, one tick before that, and there was a 9 pip reaction. So uh, you can either trade this or discard this. If you took the trade after the test, the price went past it, so it would be a losing trade. Another losing trade would be from uh, this. You would go short from there, but there was not really any reaction to it. And the next one is in here, next highlighted zone. Price went away from it, made a pullback, and you go long from there. 
Next one is this one. So this is the support at 1290. And this was the reaction to it. When the price made it back to the level, you go long. And the reason you go long is that because of those heavy volumes, you can see that afterwards price went upwards, which indicates that those volumes were volumes of strong buying institution and those big guys pushed the price upwards. So when I mean, there's a pullback, those guys are apt to become active again and they should push the price upwards again. All right, so that's why we went long from there. Let's have a look at another example. So in here, we have those 33 contracts. This was the support. This was the reaction to it. This one, price went above it, went back, and nice reaction. Also another one which was in here, the price went below it, returned back. This was the place to enter a short, and this was the reaction to it. Now let's have a look at a few more examples. Another one was in here. Heavy volumes showing on the filter. The price went below it, so you wait for a pullback to this area and you go short from there. Now what's next? Next there is a losing trade, which was based on those volumes. So uh, this filtered trade showed in here, then the price went upwards, made it back, so it was a long, but the price went through, so uh, this would be a losing trade. Next one in here, this is a resistance, and this is the reaction to it. There is a reaction to an older filter trade. Now there is another one in here and short from there. Initially the price went past the short, it made 7 pips past the trade entry, but then it made 10 pips in here. Alright, let's have a look at another example. Let's have a look at this one, this filter trade and this support. Oh, so it wasn't tested yet. So let's go back. All right, the last ones, those two, you can trade them as one trade. You don't need to enter long from there and then three pips lower from there. So you can just enter the first one in here at 12.30, the price went 6 pips below the trade entry, but then reversed and went upwards. So this one would also be a winning trade. All right, so as you can see on those few examples which I showed you, there were some losing trades, but majority of the trades were nice winners. And I was just trading this super simple strategy using this trades filter, nothing else. I just blindly followed those highlighted zones. Pretty cool, right? This is a custom coded special feature of my overflow. I'm not really sure if you would be able to trade this with other software. I don't think so. So anyways, if you guys found this interesting, you can visit my website and uh, learn more about the overflow. What I did is I wrote a beginner's guide to overflow in here. It is on the homepage. So if you click it, there is four part guide, those four links to the overflow. You can learn more about the strategies, about overflow, about some special features, and also about the trading platform, the data, the trading instruments you can use with the overflow. So if you are interested, I suggest you go through this. And if you would like to get the overflow, you can get it in here. If you click overflow and the top menu, then on this page, you can purchase my overflow pack, which includes the overflow software, which I developed a 12 hour video course on the overflow and volume profile. 
and this pack also includes volume profile which I developed for Ninja Trader 8 and the reason is that Auriflow very nicely works with the volume profile indicator as those two complement each other really nicely. Alright, so anyways, I hope you guys liked this video and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in some next video and until then, happy trading!